There are so many places to visit in D.C. besides the White House, the mall, and museums. For example, you can take a ride on the longest escalator in the Western Hemisphere. And that's where we'll start. At 230 feet, it's longer than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh my god. Ah, that's cool. The second longest in the world, it takes three and a half minutes to ride. It's, it's a little intimidating to people the first time. And it's on the D.C. Metro line at the Wheaton Station in Maryland. I've heard many people go, oh my goodness. While we're riding the escalator, we'll show you other different things to do in and around D.C. Oh, the ghost of the Taylor's slain bride. Because it may not be Salem, but the nation's capital has a haunted history of its own. And they were obviously slightly alarmed at that because Stephen Decatur was dead. Washington Walks takes the fearless on a walking tour of the city's spookiest sites. It's interesting to see the ghost of the past and to see where the ghosts are. Forget seeing the White House in the day. Stop by at dusk to see the supposedly haunted church across the street. Six white-robed men appear sitting in the president's pew. When all that walking makes you hungry, head uptown for what else? Crap. I mean, this is where I get my fix. It's called Crabaholics. They come for a quick crab fix. The neat and tidy need not come because it's sticky. It's very messy. Saucy. Scrumptious. Yum. This is what it's about. Yum. All you need is a hammer and an appetite. Oh my god. For 25 years, dancing crab has been on the main line for those clawed creatures. You know, the best time you're going to have in D.C. is going to be here eating crabs. Back outdoors, the Marine Corps silent drill team is something most travelers don't know about. Very impressive, very um, touching, and makes you really think about patriotism. At the Marine Barracks and Iwo Jima Memorial, highly disciplined Marines show off their skills in a mesmerizing display of precision. These guys train day in and day out every day to do this. You can get to all those DC sites by taking the Metro, once you finally get to the bottom of it. In Maryland, Jessica Namias, KSFX News at 9.